What is the most important aspect of the golf swing? Well, for me, I'm a firm believer that strike is king. Contact is the most important thing that we can focus on. Far too often we get focused on our mechanics, we get focused on our wrist angle, we get focused on our follow through, but six inches behind the ball, six inches in front of the ball. If that's not perfect, we need to look at why. But here's a drill. Actually, we're gonna be doing two drills today that'll assist in control and better contact. So what I have here today is a seven iron, a couple balls down here, and we're gonna do a couple different things. First one's gonna be a movement drill that I really want you to do, kind of feel out how the swing should feel or give you a new perspective on where you should feel it. So I'm gonna take this club across my chest, go into my golf posture, out my setup position, and I'm going to simply, from the lower body, from my hips to my chest, I'm going to point at the ball, rotate back, that's my back swing, rotate forward. That's my forward swing. Now, that is your entire golf swing. What do I mean by that? That means that far too often, we end up getting our arms and hands involved in this. Well, this drill is to help you feel where that rotation comes from. I wanna feel this right in my hips, right in my belt, belt buckle. I want that to be what rotates this club. Now we're gonna translate that to the next drill we're gonna do. Okay, so the next drill that we're gonna do is going to be what I call a 20, 40, 80 drill. So what this, is, what this means, I'm gonna give an example of this, is just like we just did with that rotational drill, that movement drill, I want you to feel that from the butt of the club to your belt buckle, that there's a string, there's an imaginary string. And the only way that this club gets back to the ball or the club gets back in the backswing is by pulling the string with your belt buckle. So when I set up, I'm gonna go into full setup the only thing that dictates how long my swing is, is by how far I rotate my body. The reason I call it 20, 40, 80 is because I'm gonna take this seven iron, which normally goes anywhere from 170 to 180. I'm gonna try and hit this 20 yards, 40 yards, and 80 yards. You can do it with five balls each, 10 balls each. As long as you're focused purely on contact, you can control the length of the swing with your body, and that will dictate the more control you have, the more consistency you'll have. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up to this, standard golf posture, standard setup, and all I'm gonna do is try to feel where the, when the club was across my chest, that my belt buckle brings this club back. 20 yards, first one. Nice short swing, right? So now I'm gonna hit 40 yards. How do I do that? My speed doesn't change, my tempo doesn't change, the only thing I'm changing is how far I rotate my body, how long I'm taking, how long I'm making that backswing. So your backswing is only as long as your body will allow you to turn. I'm just going to rotate a little bit more. We're going to 40 yards. Okay. Now, 80 yards. Now you notice in those, the only thing that changed was the length of my backswing, the length of the swing that I took. So beyond that, that'll improve your control. If you can feel where the top of your backswing is, you can then control how far you're rotating, how far you're taking your club back. The last thing we wanna do is get our arms too involved because we want the body to be swinging the club for us as opposed to the club swinging around our body. Thank you for joining me here today with Better Golf Bryson. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm always looking for tips and tricks that you guys like to see to make your game that much better.